Good morning, Bobcat teachers and scholars. Welcome to another day of teaching and learning. Let's remember that every student counts, and let's make sure that every moment matters today. Let's get started with our morning announcements. Good morning, Santa Kill students and staff. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Senior Kill students and staff. Please stand for the please remain standing for the Bobcat information. Bobcats are powerful. I think positively. I take ownership from my actions. I make wise choices. I'm excited about new learning. I will reach my goals. I forgive others and myself. I am understanding of differences. I am a leader. I am a Bobcat. Now, every day, all of the Bobcats within our Scenic Hill School should strive to display our foundational values. In order to do this, you must think about the three R approach, which is to be respectful, be responsible, and to always be ready to learn. We don't have any birthdays today, but tomorrow, maybe we'll have a birthday or two. See you soon. In today's classroom spotlight, we are shining a light on our grade four scholars, specifically our scholars in Mr. Field's homeroom, who were caught being respectful, responsible, and ready to learn. Keep up the great work. Bobcat Scholars, thank you to each of you for inviting your grandparents to come and have lunch with you on yesterday. We had over 100 grandparents. Please let your grandparents know that we will upload the folder of pictures to our web page. Uh, we should have them uploaded no later than tomorrow. On the screen, you will see just a few of the pictures that we took during yesterday's celebration. In our school-wide events and activities, scholars, we have our next Bobcat Bonanza coming up on this Friday. 
in order to be eligible, you must have no more than four behavior tallies. No more than four behavior tallies. Teachers, in order to make sure that our scholars understand what appropriate and acceptable behavior looks like, we must hold them accountable. We have been in school for almost 30 days. It is time out for giving chances. Our scholars understand the expectations and we must uphold our school-wide creed and make sure that we hold our scholars accountable for their actions. If they are not following our 3R approach in every setting, we must, we must hold them accountable. Four tallies or less, scholars must also not have had a parent phone call home. That includes teachers when we have to visit the car line when we have to email parents, when we have to text parents to correct student behavior. They must not have visited our school counselor, our district behavior specialist, uh, or been sent to the office for misbehavior of any kind. Because in order to do those things, students must have at least five behavior tallies. So we know that if you visited the school counselor, the district behavior specialist, or the office, you have at least five conduct marks. Just know that that's what you have. And scholars, us holding you accountable is only setting you up for a success in life. Everyone will hold you accountable, no matter how old you are. Even when you get a job, like your teacher, like Principal White, we are held accountable for our actions. And so, we make sure that we set you up for success, not only in school, but in life, by teaching you to follow the rules. We only have three rules at our school to be respectful, responsible, and ready to learn in every space that you are in. You treat us good, we treat you good. I think we might need to bring out the big games for this Bobcat Bonanza this time. I think we are, I think we're ready. I think we are ready for the big games. I can't wait to see which of our scholars are eligible for the Bob Cabananza on this special Friday? Make sure that you are following our 3R approach no matter where you are. And our students in the spotlight. Today, we are shining a light on one of our grade one scholars who was caught being respectful and responsible, which made him ready to learn. Jonathan Boyd, we are super excited that you are working to make sure that you are following the three R approach each day. We couldn't be prouder of you for earning your first reward. We look forward to you getting many, many more. Scholars, I hope you enjoyed yesterday's read aloud. Too much glue. Oh my goodness. I laughed for a long time while wow. listening to yesterday's book. It is now one of my all-time favorite read-alouds. I truly, truly, truly hope you enjoyed that book on yesterday. Now today, we have been talking about in our SEL lessons uh, how to be respectful, 
um, and then responsibility in terms of our actions. So our read aloud today is going to help us with that. And so uh, I, the title of today's story is I am stronger than anger. And so scholars, we all get upset, but I want you to think about whether or not you are able to control your emotions when you get upset because our ultimate goal is to be able to uh, to control our emotions so that we are stronger than those emotions we feel when we get upset and so today teachers please carve out about nine minutes for today's read aloud so that our students can see what our main character does to become stronger than his anger. And now scholars, just because today is another national holiday, we have a bonus read aloud again today. So on today, September the 13th, did you know that it is National Kids Take Over the Kitchen Day? Did you know that kids take over the kitchen day? Do you cook at home? Well, today is a national holiday. And when you get off the bus, when you get in the car, when uh, your parents or grandparents, your aunts, your uncle, whoever picks you up from school today, you tell them that today is national kid take over the kitchen day. So it's time for you to cook some food so our bonus read aloud today is called katie in the kitchen now teachers i know that you're already carving about nine minutes for our first read aloud but our bonus read aloud is only about six minutes long so that's only about 15 minutes that we need you to carve out today for both of our read alouds because we want to make sure that our scholars are ready to take over the kitchen when they get home today. Remember, every day we're building brilliant bobcats because we are raising the bar by believing in ourselves, achieving our goals, and reimagining our future. Get up, you must believe. Together, we will achieve. Together we are real matter 901. How for talk today or teacher learning.